Hi everybody! So, I heard my teacher is talking about a Valentine's Day party. Do you guys know what Valentine's Day is? You do? So, you're going to make cards and give them to your friends? And maybe a box to put them in? Yeah, I know, everything's a little different right now. But that's okay. We can still have fun with our friends and show them that we care a whole lot. I have a story today that talks about Valentine's. Let's watch it. Hey everyone, uh, I have a new book today and I think with Valentine's being this week we should probably do a Valentine's Day book. So the book I have is called Valentine's are for saying I love you. Um, so before I get started let's talk about the five parts of the book. We have the front, the back, the spine, the author writes the words and the illustrator does the pictures. So let's get started. On Valentine's Day there are always lots of candy, lots of heart-shaped candy. I get to take three licks of my lollipop at breakfast time. My dad gets my mommy a big bunch of flowers. At school, we have a party. Everything is so pink and pretty. I give my teacher a special card. The X's and O's are for kisses and hugs. I give cards to everyone in my class because they are my friends. At home, I make a special card for mommy. It has glitter all over it, even on the back. The one for daddy has doilies on it that look like lace. I stick a little doggy biscuit on the card for Arrow. How long does it take him to eat it? About a minute. And for my baby brother, I tape a big heart with an arrow on his crib. It will be the last thing he sees before going to sleep. My grandparents come to visit after dinner and I have cards for them too. My grandma's card smells extra sweet because I sprayed it with perfume. And because my grandpa likes jokes, I made him a funny card. You read the back of it first. Valentine's Day always comes on February 14th, but it is not like other holidays like Christmas or Thanksgiving. It is a day when you show your friends and family how much you love them. Of course, you can do that each day, but on Valentine's Day, it's extra special. So what did you think of the book? Did you make Valentine's for your friends and family? Um, if not, maybe you could ask mom or dad uh, to help you make a card. Uh, until next time, bye. Wasn't that a super cool book? How about we work on some projects together? I think Mr. Rock has a fun idea. Maybe some super cool projects that you can do at home. Let's see what he has. Who's ready to do some Valentine's Day projects? I have two that we're going to do today. One, we're going to make a card. And the other one is we're going to make a little person out of this heart. So here's some things that you're going to need. You're going to need cardstock or paper, or even colored paper. You're going to need some markers and crayons, some glue, and some bobbly eyes if you have them. We're also going to need your imagination. Okay, so let's get started. Let's do the card first. So what I did was I got myself a piece of purple, light purple cardstock here. 
Uh, and then much like this one, we're going to write Happy Valentine's Day. Okay? And if you have any troubles with spelling the word, feel free to pause the video and then use what you see right here. V-A-L-E-N-T-I-N-E-S. Um, or you can always ask mom or dad to help you. Okay? So first you're going to take a full size piece of cardstock colored paper. Okay? We're going to fold it in half. Your folds aren't perfect. That's okay because you're making it, and that's all that matters. Okay. Um, so let's write "Happy Valentine's Day" on the front. Now I have glitter markers here, um, but it it you can use anything that you want. So let's write "Happy Valentine." Okay. So I used my um, metallic emerald and I wrote it on here. Okay. It's not perfect and that's okay. Now we're going to open up and write on the inside. So the inside you can do a couple different things. You can draw a picture, you can draw hearts, you can just write a saying. In this one I wrote hugs and kisses. Um, but let's do a couple hearts. So to do a heart, first you make one of these little hooks and then you do the opposite so it matches down. Okay, see how I did that? And then we're going to color it in. If you want to pre-cut hearts and use them, that's fine. So I colored in my heart here, and I am using a metallic uh, ruby to do that. Okay. I'm going to get out my gold because, you know, gold shiny. Uh, I'm going to do a big heart. Okay. But I'm not going to color this one in. Okay. And then, who's your card for? Think real careful. Who do you want to make your card for? You could do this for anyone that you want to do cards for. So if you have a, a Valentine's Day party this week um, and you want to make cards for your friends, awesome. I'm sure they would really appreciate the personal touch. Um, if you're making cards for family members like uh, our friend did in her book, um, they'll love them too. Uh, so then you want to always sign your card. Um, so it's, you can do love, you can do from, and then you want to write your name. Um, if you are still learning on how to write your name, ask someone to write it down on a piece of paper for you so you can do it. And I signed it. So I'm going to sit that off over there now. It's super easy. doesn't take a lot of time. Um, chances are you probably already have all the stuff around the house to do that. Um, so get creative as possible. So my second one, I said we we're going to make a little person out of hearts. So I already pre-cut all my heart pieces. Um, you can use a template or anything like that. It, it's okay. Um, <clears throat> if you want to draw and cut out your own hearts, then I suggest you do that. Um, it never hurts to practice your scissor skills. Uh, that's something that we're all kind of learning too. So I'm going to use these googly eyes. And I pre-picked my googly eyes based off of the size of the heart that I had. Um, so what I would suggest is maybe take the time, get all your pieces out, uh, put it together without gluing it. That way you have a chance to kind of feel um, whether or not you're okay with uh, what you've done. Now some googly eyes have a sticky back that you peel off. The ones I have don't, so I got to use glue to put them on. So if you notice now, I have little um, eyeballs on here. So you're probably thinking, what about a mouth? We need to draw a mouth on there, right? So I'm going to use my metallic ruby. You can use black crayons, whatever you want to do. And let's draw a smiley face because I've never seen a sad heart. Have you ever seen a sad heart? Okay, so we're going to 
a little bit here. Okay. And I drew a smiley face. Next, you're going to cut some strips off of some plain white paper. I remember at the beginning I said these are some of the things that we're going to need. Um, they're not the exact same width and that's okay because I'm going to do two different uh, things with them. So first, see how I folded this over like that? We're just going to fold back and forth. And we're going to go all the way down both pieces of paper. And if you don't want to do that, that's fine too. folds aren't perfect. Um, as one of my favorite TV artists used to say, there's no accidents, just or no mistakes, it's just happy accidents. So um, we're going to cut this in half. So wherever your opposite fold is, you're going to want to take your scissors and cut that. And remember, always cut with an adult around. Uh, you never want to cut um, by yourself. Um, at least not so you're older. On one of the little tabs. Like so. We're going to glue it to the back of our heart. to the other one. And you can put them any way you want. They could be as long as you want. Um, they could be real skinny. Now we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side here. your middle and then cut. These ones we're going to want to put on the bottom. So we have a couple arms and a couple legs. Now you're probably thinking, what are we going to do with my hands, right? Um, so I cut out smaller hearts. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. And we're going to put the heart on that. I'll do the other side here and then I'll show you what I did. However you put your hearts on are fine. Little hearts. And then I got bigger hearts that we're going to use for feet. Um, and you probably see that I'm putting the um, glue on my paper instead of the hearts. Uh, the reason why I'm doing that is I don't want to get glue all over my desk. Um, you know, probably if you're working at home, you might have uh, something down on the table to protect it, but uh, here I don't. All right. So there we go. We got some feet on his legs and hands on his arms. You can get as creative as you want on this. You can make them a hat, um, put little bows, anything you want. Um, I think the bow is a really good idea. So let's do a bow over here. So I'm doing what looks like little triangles. I gave her a little bow and if you see here it's basically two triangles but I curved all the sides there to kind of make it look like a bow. Um, once it's dry if you want to give a little accent to it you can. So. Alright I hope you guys enjoyed these I would love to see anything that you guys do. Um, if you have questions always ask. Uh, I'm sure someone can help you do that. 
if you want to ask me personally that's fine um, you guys should know how to find me through the way I post my videos and things like that um, so enjoy and we'll talk to you guys soon wow those were super cool crap I think I'm gonna make the heart person what about you all right everyone I hope that you have a great Valentine's I'll see you soon. Bye!